day 19. Welcome back to my channel. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. If you are new here, I am on a 21 day reset challenge where I'm focusing on my mind, body, and soul. If you're interested in learning all about that, please feel free to click the video above or just check out my daily goals posted below. So today is a calorie cut day, which just means that I am going to try to not eat more than 1500 calories. Uh, my calorie window on a calorie cut day is anywhere from 600 to 1500 calories. So I will be tracking that and let's hope that I can stick to that. And without further ado, let's just go right into the mind. Okay, we are finally at paradise. We finally made it. She continues to talk about what an awakening actually feels like as best as she can. Some people experience an awakening as this giant moment that's irreversible and other people experience small little moments of insights throughout their lives. Either one counts as an awakening or an enlightening moment or an enlightening series of moments. But the thing is language can't really communicate it or, or capture it fully, but neuroscience can. I mean, not fully, but she talks about how neuroscientists have discovered certain parts of our brain that light up and shut down when we're having these awakening aha moments. Apparently, the feeling of an aha moment is associated with a sudden decrease in two areas, electric decrease, in two areas of the brain. Those are the areas that are associated with us feeling like we're separate from the rest of the world and also us feeling like we're in control of our lives. So when we're having an aha moment or this moment of awakening, we actually feel more connected to everybody and everything and we feel less like we are um, in control or that sort of egoistic personality that we all have, that kind of goes away or it fades into the background. I found that really interesting. I have, I think, experienced some moments like that in my life and it usually happens when I'm exercising. So th that is interesting to think about where you kind of feel very much aware that you are connected to like the whole universe. It's a really powerful feeling. And then sometimes I feel that way when I'm meditating. She closes out this chapter by talking about something called a don't know mind. A don't know mind is this approach or attitude to the world where we are a little bit more humble and we're not so focused on being right. We're not so focused on having all the answers. We're more open to possibilities and other ideas. And she says that we should really strive to cultivate a don't know mind because that will help us get rid of limiting beliefs that we've grown up with throughout our lives. And finally, she says, probably the most important thing, we should all be in this together. We should be helping each other out on our journeys toward integrity. So that's just me thanking everybody who has followed my journey so far and those of you who are participating in the journey yourselves. We're in this together. So we just have two more chapters left. I will see you guys tomorrow. Now let's talk about the body. Excellent workout today. Just check it out. That was the hardest power zone ride I had, I've ever done. It, it was only 30 minutes, but he went up to zone five. If you saw my video yesterday, I tried to explain what power zone rides are, but basically every single person who does a power zone ride takes a fitness test and that determines what your unique zones are. So when he goes to zone five, that's gonna be unique to me. And if you took your own fitness test, that would be unique to you, which is why I really like power zone rides because you're not competing with other people, you're competing with yourself. So yeah, that was a really tough one because we were in zone five for at least I think six minutes. So I think I burned the most calories on that 30 minute ride, but I feel good, I feel fine. 
And now, finally, let us meditate together with the nature. Another beautiful day today. I love the sun. Enjoy. Read the 10 pages and then some. 
I uh, definitely closed that move ring. I went all the way up to 900, and then I ended up burning 2,700 calories today, which is great. One gallon of water, no problem. Today was a cut day, and I'm not perfect. I was so hungry today, so I went 40 calories over my like allotment for a calorie cut day. I'm not too mad about that, but you know, I was like, dang it. Uh, so maybe, you know what? I'm just not gonna check that today because I wanna be honest with you guys. All right, meditate for five minutes, yes. Film and upload an accountability video. We'll see you tomorrow for day 20. Ah.